When you are ready to go ahead and import a project on your PLC 400 tablet, it's actually quite simple. I'm going to go ahead and open up my my layout application. And usually what you're going to see first is this screen here. You're going to open it up. You're going to see the different options of where you want to go when you're in the tablet. If, you, if I went ahead and pressed draw or layout, it's going to take me to the current job I'm already on. But if I'm ready to upload a brand new project, I just go to project, tap the tab, wait for the uh, project list to show up. When the project list shows up, I have a lot of options at the top, okay? So I can duplicate the project that I certainly have, that I have already selected. I can edit a project that I already have selected, edit the name of it. I can delete a project that I have selected. I can import, okay? And this imports, by the way, a project that is, uh, if you look over here, it's an HPL30 file, or an HPL30 file, and that project is, that file name is actually a, uh, that file name, HPL30, is generated on the Hilti Profus Layout Office software. So if you don't have that software, I would disregard that importing, okay? Actually, I wouldn't fully disregard it, because if you think about it, I can also export a project to my D drive onto the USB. And the nice thing about exporting the project is that the project is exported as an HPL file to my D drive. And then furthermore, I can then re-import it into my tablet if I wanted to save a backup file. So let me just clarify on that. If you export it, if you export a draw a project from your tablet, it'll export it as an HPL30 file onto whatever USB device or wherever you're exporting it to. And you can then use that HPL30 file to then import it back into the tablet or into our Profus Layout Office software. That was my fault. So then from here, let's say you want to add a brand new project. Obviously, I'm going to press this plus sign. I'm going to add a project. I'll call this whatever I want. I'll go and call it 321. The next window that comes up is if I want to add a description. I don't really need a description on this one, so I'll just say enter. But I'll show you where it kind of will pop up. Okay, so if I had a description, it would just pop up in small letters underneath the 321. All right, so there we have the date that I'm creating, the, that I created the project, the time, and I'm going to now open up my project. You say it says jobs one. I'll show you what that means. I'm going to say yes, I want to open this project. And right there it says, here's your project and here's all the different jobs you have. I can add several different jobs. Let me say, I, let's say I add floor one through three, for instance. There's that job, then I'll add a DX through one, floor two through five, for instance, right? Because they might have their own individual CAD files. So I can have all the jobs of this current project on here. And the nice thing about it is that as long as the CADs are all lining up the same way, they're all drawn in the same grid system, the control points, your access lines that you use on the job should be the exact same as well. And it's just nice to organize everything right here, every single job for this current project right here. So let's say this 321 job I have, I have a specific CAD file for that and I want to add it. Okay, I'm going to disregard layout points for now, but I'm going to add a drawing. Okay, so I'm going to press this plus sign. I'm going to indicate that I want to import a drawing. If I already had a drawing in there, I could actually export the DWG file directly to my USB or whatever I indicate. But in this case, I'm importing the drawing. I'm going to say, yep, I'm going to import a drawing. And it immediately goes to my C drive. I also have my docs, and then I have my USB, and I even have a cloud. 10 times out of 11, you are going to use a USB to import the project. It's just the easiest way that I've seen. So I've went ahead and plugged my USB into the side port here. And now I could, you see it has D. I'm looking for a DXF DWG. If I was trying to import, um, if I was trying to find a specific file type and I knew it was DXF, I could tap DXF specifically. But I just always have a finding both, even though almost all my drawings are DWG CAD entities. So I'll go ahead and draw, scroll down here. I'll find, I don't know, I think I have it under Hilti Jobs. You have a demo file, demo mat. I'll just use this one. It's a very basic bathroom file. I'll tap it. I'm going to say, yep, that's the one I want to import. The tablet will then ask me how the, it was drawn. I say it was inches, and I'm going to import it via that way. Sometimes if you're, well, obviously, if you're not in America, chances are it was drawn in millimeters, so you want to in indicate that. That's all about the scaling of the CAD. So now you see I have a drawing there. Okay, And then if I had another drawing for floor 1 through 3, I could add it there. Floor 2 through 5, I could add it there. 
etc etc so here we are I have the project 321 my first job right here is uh, has a drawing in it and then I say check and now it's uploaded and I can go ahead and start drawing and doing things with the drawing here on the tablet 